Jones Walking down Main Street tonight Got a lot on my mind since you walked out and said Merry Christmas, babe, give me some time on the 12th day of chill, Miss Chi Chi came to us asking Carol T to make a shining gleam. Welcome back, it's Chalina Achol. On the 12th day of chill, Miss, we here. I know it's January 2nd, I was supposed to be done on Christmas, but nonetheless, we here, we're here. So for today's video, I will be giving you guys my skincare routine, my winter skincare routine. Changes up a little bit in the summer, but not that deep but also but if you have some serious skin issues i was definitely suggesting a dermatologist because i'm not a doctor yet but this is just how i maintain my skin and i have makeup on right now so this ain't how good it gets i actually have um scarring from popping too many pimples so i'm actually going to be doing an at-home chemical peel today which helps resurface and for more cell turnover and help even out my skin tone so the scars can begin to fade and I just look like a glazed chocolate tint. I'm wearing the Fenty Pro Matte Filter Foundation Powder. Say that five times fast. And I really like it. I put it on this morning and it's been on all day. So yeah. Also, this is like a little hack when you have a frontal on, how you best to maintain that frontal. I like to secure it down with a elastic band, a fabric store, see if I can find one of those, and I'll link it down below. So you know I'm trying to get that waterproof seal, maintain the frontal life as long as possible. And then on top of that, I put like a silk wrap on top, but I'm actually gonna put that on before I hop in the shower. Everybody knows the GOAT, the Neutrogena. If you don't, you, you lack him. I like to start off with this because, I don't know, it makes the makeup, taking off the makeup a little easier. I like to start with this and still cleanse my face afterwards. I love these ones because they're super wet, wet. Today I wasn't wearing much makeup, I was just wearing, just needed one. So yeah, there's that. When it comes to cleansing my face, it's like for everyday use. Use a bar of soap. My favorite is usually like a nice lavender. I get them at Target, um, they have them for like $2. Dollar Tree has them for a dollar. Don't use black soap that is incredibly drying for your skin, which leads to wrinkles. You don't want that. I used to get super annoyed by my oily, oily skin, but that's why I'm turning 30, but I look 16. So for cleansing soap, I like to use also my other option that I'm gonna be using today. I will be using uh, this Botanics one. This is probably like my third bottle of this. It's a gentle cleanser, it's for all skin types. It has hibiscus in it. The reason I like it, cause it kind of like brightens up your skin. When I'm drained or something, I look like a zombie. I look just like somebody's sucking the color out of my face. Right now, this skin, I, my skin has been doing okay for the most part, so it looks pretty plump, you know? But on other days when it isn't, most days is this or a bar of soap. If you want a deeper, since it's a gentle cleanser, if you want a little bit more of a a deeper cleaner, you know, um, you can leave it and let it dry down on your face for a little bit. I stepped up my skincare routine just a little bit. If I have makeup on, I just use a toner to get a little bit more. Let it sit there where my pimple is coming in a little bit. So you see, there's still more. Can you see that? Did I tell you? Did I tell you my friends at Youth gifted me? Look at this. And look at this. I've been using the serum regularly and the eye cream. You see, you see my bags? They're about, they're about almost gone. I normally just keep them by my bedside because I'd come to the bathroom, wash my face quick with my cleanser, and then go back to bed. Like I'm like half asleep in bed, just like massaging my eye cream and everything. Just like I was telling you about how chemical peels help increase. It goes to a deeper layer, penetrates to a deeper layer of your skin, and helps with cell turnover, Ugh, stronger parts of your skin. Avoid your sensitive areas like the eye area. So I hope y'all just enjoying your new year. I haven't had a chance to sit down and really reflect about how my year is going because there's still some moves I'm trying to make. You can feel it like it's skin. All I feel like I have needles on my face. Well, so I'm targeting in the places where um, I pop more pimples, where I have more scarring. It was a brief intermission. I just went and took a shower. When I hopped in the shower, I put on a silk wrap on top of my elastic band, and then I put on a bag. I just pulled it back, but originally it was over here when I was in the shower. Uh, but I, le I only left it on for five minutes. I think I said eight minutes, but I only left it on for five minutes because it's my first time doing my full face with it. But next, I'm gonna be using an eye cream. I'm just gonna put it gently underneath my eyes. You know, I got sensitive areas, so you gotta be gentle. 
and it's starting to fade my bags. I almost forgot what they look like. I actually don't mind um, the darkness on my lids because it's like eyeshadow. It's a whole look that people create. Next, I like to put on a serum. Only in the winter, that gives you moisturizer on top before I put on my moisturizer. Um, two pumps is plenty. It kind of gives used to give me like a warming feeling on my face. But now not so much don't forget your neck here you found ain't nobody want to mess with somebody with a dry neck you know it just gets you like a nice bounce this is my favorite favorite if you don't take anything away from this video this is the cereva uh, my doctor actually recommended this to me because she's like girl your skin dry i don't know what myth you heard that black folk don't eat sunscreen you do you do the cereva has sunscreen in it doc why am i gonna get sunscreen you know all that always makes me look gray looks like a zombie and then she was like, you know, is the zinc in there chili, you know? Just make sure you read the ingredients, and if you find one that doesn't have zinc in it, there you go. She just specifically told me to get this one, so I'm like, I'm gonna get this one. And this was like my second bottle. Um, I used to pump suck the life out of the last one. But, so, and this one I like because on top of my serum, it doesn't give like a filmy residue. This is like another class favorite. Everybody likes the Origins one. It's cool, I like the way it smells, but it was more expensive than this. This is like $18, this was like $32. But I don't really like the residue, at least on my face. But this leaves a nice finish. Ultra light moisturizing lotion with SPF. Make sure you get your SPF year round, sis, year round. Especially with the way the snow reflects, the sun reflects off the snow. Get that, get that. So I just use like two pumps. Also important, but not completely related. Chapstick, Blistex is my favorite. The secret, the secret to maintaining good, healthy skin. You probably already know what it is. Everybody tries to neglect it, but drink your water. Stay hydrated. Get you some H2O. That is the end of my video. I hope that was helpful. Hope y'all like my glow. This is flash, ring light, and bathroom light zone. I don't radiate like a goddess every day. Inside I do though. Thank you for watching this video. It's Chalina Chol, Sudani Mommy. Hi! Catch you guys in the next video. If there's anything else, any other questions you guys have, just leave a comment down below or just come say hi. Say hey. Holidays are coming and there's no way around. Better join in the holiday crowd.